Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. We shall see. We shall see. We hope. <laughs> it seems like it's going to go down reasonably well, I imagine. Well, it bloody well better do. Um, no, I think, yes, I hope so. I really do hope so. You know, it's, uh, you know a lot about this film, don't you? I mean, you know, it was one of the first scripts we bought um, when we, we sort of, you know, bought the company and decided to relaunch it. And it went through different sort of iterations. You know, we're trying to land it in the right way. It's based on inspired by true events. And we want to make sure the science landed, that it was, you know, believable, uh, based on what we knew and the research we made. So, yeah, we, we've got really high hopes for it. You know, it's a big release here. Um, it's over 400 screens, and it's terrific marketing by these guys, Lionsgate. They really know their genre, and uh, we open in America in about three weeks' time. Um, John, John actually mentioned that it was originally set in the States. Well, the original story uh, happened in Canada, actually, um, and these students, you know, basically did what you'll see in the movie. Um, and then, I, you know, I just felt that, you know, it sort of didn't really matter where it was, and, and I just thought, you know, we all thought that Oxford University in 1974 was a bit more interesting than Toronto in 1974. And, uh, but no disrespect to Toronto. Uh, so, yeah, so we transposed it, but it's still fundamentally the same you know, group of people, the idea of this group of people who went off piste with a very charismatic professor and did something that was a little bit, you know, beyond their understanding. And obviously Sam stars on the rise, which sort of opens this to a different audience, I suspect. Well, I, I definitely hope so. I mean, you know, we didn't cast him for that reason, as you know. We, uh, he came in on an open audition and nailed it, you know, walked in, nailed it. We sort of knew he was our man immediately. And then he did a uh, terrific uh, um, sort of work with, sort of chemistry work, if you like, with Olivia. And that was it. And uh, he was a, he's utterly charming, as you know. And, beautiful man and uh, and you know the other thing is that he got the uh, the Hunger Games on the last day of filming so <laughs> ka -ching, sweet, ka -ching, sweet. Yeah. and now there's uh, a group of very terrifyingly young girls who are devoted, no doubt going devoted. to be watching the quiet ones and scared witless well I they? bloody well hope so they're our core audience they're the girls they love it you know that's that they are they're our core audience their core demographic it's the girls yeah that's what you're in marvelous it's not what I'm in it for no <laughs> I'm far too old far too old for that lot far too old for that lot but, um, but generally speaking, they, they've always, it's always been, for reasons we're no one's ever quite sure about, it's always been the girls who've been you know, deciding to go and see these films. They're like going together and with their mates, they're like going with their boyfriend or boyfriends, and it's terrific. And they all create the, the amazing atmosphere that you get in the movie, so in the movie house, you know. So. Thank you very much, Simon. Been a pleasure again.